Hey traders, Lance here. We're going to go over one of my favorite option strategies in trading, especially for binary events like earnings. So the stock I'm looking at is QSR Restaurant Brands. I'm going to look to buy a call and to sell an upside call. We call that a bull call spread. So I'm looking at the November 70, 72 and a half call spread. I'll place the trade on my Robinhood account, but I want to use Thinkorswim for the risk profile feature. So what it does is it limits my risk. That's the number one important thing. I'm buying the November 70 call for about a dollar uh, 50 or so. Let's actually look, see where they're at. They're 140 by 160, and I'm looking to sell an upside call or an out the money call, the 72 and a half for about 75 to 80 cents. So let's go back here. Now, my max risk is for this spread per one contract is 75 cents. That is right there. There you go. $75 per one contract. My max reward is going to be the width of the spread, so two and a half bucks minus that 75 uh, cents that I paid debit. So my max reward is 175 bucks. So I'm risking 75 to make 175. I love those very high risk versus reward trades out there. I can actually look at the probability of what's the percentage that this trade will will. Uh, go in the money where I will make profit and it's about a 31% chance. So I'm risking 75 to make 175 and I have a 31% chance of making money. I think QSR trades higher on earnings. The only negative to doing a bull call spread unlike a regular buying call option is that your max reward is capped. If the stock goes over 72 and a half, I am capped there at 175 bucks of profit per contract there. So let's go over my Robinhood account here and I'll go to QSR Restaurant Brands International. I'll go to trade QSR options. Okay. Now to trade spreads, you do have to apply to trade spreads um, and it requires a margin account to be fair. I will go to my November 15 expiration and um, by the way, my Robinhood automatically defaulted to it. I think because of experience, uh, but always obviously check with your broker. Now I'm going to look to buy the November 70 calls here. So I'm going to click that to buy them. They're at 150 and I'm going to look to sell the 72 and a half calls. So I think my, my upside is capped here at 72 and a half bucks. So I'm actually going to look to sell these options here. So I go to my platform here and I can go to sell right here. And I'll look to sell them. And my total cost on this trade, and it obviously depends on Phil, it says it's 70 cents. So I would love to get Phil that 70 cents. So let's go put one out there at 70 cents. My max cost is 70 cents. That's even better than what Toss was giving me at 75. And let's submit this order here in QSR. I'm buying the November 70 calls. I'm selling the 72 and a half calls. So my max risk on this trade is 70 bucks and my max potential profit, therefore, will be um, 130, lovely. So let's put it in there, done. Ooh, well, not, pardon me, not 130. My max, uh, my max gain will be um, up to 180, 180, 180. So I'm risking 70 to make 180. Put the trade in, it probably will take a minute or so to get filled, let's see if it's filled. All right, they received my order. Um, okay, now probably have to wait a couple minutes, but that is a bull call spread QSR. If you want to get long stock without uh, buying a regular call option or without tying up all the buying power with buying stock, a bull call spread limits uh, risk and maximizes reward.